Good morning and welcome to the Gotham Expo 2021. Thanks for being here with us. Uh, I'm Nick Houston for Gotham Sound here with Charlie from Frame.io. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. Um, so Frame.io is a pretty new thing. Uh, tell me, just tell me like the general idea of what Frame.io is. Sure, so Frame.io has been around for six years. Mm -hmm. uh, Camera to Cloud is a relatively new thing, mm -hmm. which is what we're showcasing here today. Okay. So the idea behind uh, Camera to Cloud this is a cloud-based proxy workflow where you can have a 655 tube encoder uh -huh. attached to a camera and have an integration with the sound devices or Cantar mm -hmm. to upload sound uh, sound files directly to Frame.io as soon as the camera cuts and as soon as the sound mixer cuts. And then in Frame.io, we'll do a mux and I'll have production audio within seconds after the camera's cutting. Got it. So the idea is, I'm just going to repeat what you said sure. basically so I understand it. So you've got a camera here, or even a camera here, going into this Teradek box, Correct. right? And that is taking 1080p video, sending it out over Wi-Fi into the cloud, Correct. uploading it to Frame.io, and the same idea with either a Kantar or with an 888, sending it out over Wi-Fi into the cloud, and then where does it go and what do you do with it? So within Frame.io here, you can kind of see we have a cloud devices. You authenticate each device to Frame.io mm -hmm. via secure method. As you can see, we have a Kantar, we have Rob's Komodo, which is the black Komodo, we have the sound devices, and we have my Stormtrooper, which is right here. Um, if we were to roll on, if you want to roll the Kantar, because right. you know that better than I do, I'm going to roll this camera right here. Okay. You only need a couple seconds in order to wish to do it, so if you want to cut, I'm going to cut here. Then what this is going to do is, within frame up, we we'll go to today's date, which makes us, automatically makes this folder structure for you. We can go to video, we can see Stormtrooper here. This is already uploading to Frame.io. It's gonna process. We go into the video, uh, the audio folder. We go into the Kantar folder. That's the WAV file that was just shot and it's uploading at the moment. These are all the tests that we've done so far today. And then if we go into what well, we have, a folder called AV Sync, this will automatically mux this. So what happens is they'll take the video files automatically, bring them into this folder. And then once the audio file is uploaded, based on time code and clip name, because the, the Cube 655 is clip name and time code accurate, we'll be able to mux these so you have instant um, production audio immediately as soon as the camera cuts. So if I hit refresh, that V2 signifies that it's been automatically created, so I can then go in through here, I can see all this stuff. Obviously you can't hear it right now because it's super loud, uh -huh. but like this is the files that we were just shooting, so that's you guys right there, and it's pretty rad, and that's instant. And that's available on all the eight series for the sound devices and the Cantars. Got it, okay. And so the idea behind this is, right, you said camera to cloud, so that uh, you can have a production going on and then you can have anybody anywhere in the world logging in and watching things almost instantly. Quite literally. I mean, we had a, uh, a friend of mine who's a producer. I, had, I hooked him up with uh, getting involved in camera cloud. He had a shoot in Italy mm -hmm. for Fashion Week. He has editors in LA, so they were shooting in Italy and his, he didn't have to fly his, his editor out to Italy. His editor was able to be at home, working as they're shooting, was able to, as they're done the event, he already had snippets ready for you know, social media and all that stuff, ready yeah. to go. And so it's uploading in 1080p, Correct. right? And you said earlier that it was what, uh, clip accurate and time code accurate? Yeah, it's clip, clip name accurate. So it's gonna take whatever file name that would be for the Komodo or Red Cam or Sony, all that stuff. So you can, it's, and it's proxy based, so it's H.264 okay. MP4 uh -huh. um, based workflow. So the nice thing is, so if you want to shoot now, you can shoot and edit as you're going. Yeah. And then when the actual dailies come in, like color accurate dailies from your DIT or post house, wherever it's doing that, you can then just reconform and you're not losing a beat of uh, time. Or if you just want to edit with this and then uh, conform for a DI later on to do a final color, you absolutely can. Yeah, got it. So you can have, so you can be working with those smaller files. Yeah and then boom, all of a sudden full res and you're ready to go. Or you're doing it as if the editor was on set taking a clip immediately from the camera. Yeah, and we're also seeing like productions using it for instant review as well. So people are making comments as they're shooting. We have a, a, a television show that's doing that sort of thing. We're like the, the directing producer is just going through making comments as they're shooting to give it notes to their assistant editor to start pulling selects. And then they're taking that files and they're, you know, they're also working completely in frame too with like uh, with review and able to uh, take all the edits that they're making within Premiere Resolve or any of the or Final Cut, any of the NLEs that we support, and working completely in uh, Frame.io and editing and 
showcasing those comments and clips and bringing everyone in. So the same project that you're doing all your camera cloud dailies, so you're also doing all your instant review, everything like that. So that way, you know, for episodics, any sort of thing uh, that they're trying to do. So you can, you're making notes there and then you can also download the footage and edit locally. Correct, yeah. So we actually have an integration with Premiere, Final Cut, Resolve, uh, Avid's uh, sort of coming-ish. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, so there's, you can actually, what's very interesting is you can do camera to cloud completely in, within your uh, nonlinear editor without ever logging into Frame.io on the web. Like you can do it from, you can shoot everything here and then like if we have a Premiere project open, it's all integrated. So you can just, you can import the files directly in Premiere, start working at it locally uh, within your NLA. Cool, all right, so we know that this is the box that gets the camera to connect to the Wi-Fi. So these are the two recorders that are supported right now, the Cantar. Correct. And the, the Sound Devices 8, 8 series, right. so the 888 and the Scorpio at the moment. Yeah. So what are you using to get those connected to Wi-Fi? Because they don't have Wi-Fi working natively. So right. just tell me a little bit about that So workflow. right now what we have, so they're, they're Ethernet based at the moment. Uh -huh. um, and we have them all connected via Ethernet to this little GLI net access point. Mm -hmm. That's right there, you can kind of see. And that is just an access point that connects from uh, or whatever Wi-Fi you have. So if you're like if you're at a Starbucks or something like that, you can then you know use that to connect to like your laptop or something like that. If you don't want to use if you don't want to use the laptop Wi-Fi because you can set this up for VPN for more security and right. that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so that's using the same concept of connecting stuff that's not that doesn't have Wi-Fi and giving it access to a Wi-Fi source. Right. So it, it's basically any any of the eight series that has Dante or the Cantar with Dante have Frame.io support. Yep. Um, and then, I mean, other things that are interesting here, and maybe just to plug ourselves a little bit, in terms of onset Wi-Fi, you're maybe not always in a place that has Wi-Fi. You know, tell me about that box, and this box, and that thing. Yeah, so th these are like the very robust, uh, the PepWave um, Max Transit Duos, which are a bonded cellular um, device which takes four SIM cards, you know, AT&T, T-Mobile, uh, Verizon, uh, whatever flavor of it. SIM card you want to put in it takes all four of those and then bonds them all together to make one solid robust signal. So if AT&T has more of a robust signal than Verizon and vice versa, yep. it'll then take that and upload that. It doesn't make it doesn't take four 10 uh, megabits per second uh, signals and turn it into 40. It just it, it just makes it so that way you're never going to lose a signal and it's robust. Like I was this is a this is a big part of my kit when I was uh, DITing years ago. For um, like doing live streaming, a lot of stuff last year during the pandemic. Yeah. We also have these Netgear. You can also use something like this, which is a Netgear Nighthawk, which is kind of like a puck, puck style system. It has um, an Ethernet port, so you can plug this yeah. into an 8 series if you wanted to as well, and it's powered via a USB C and USB A, which is nice. So if you if you don't have a robust PepWave system, because PepWave also has the Ethernet ports on it right. too. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a it's a like a lower cost uh, of entry to get into mm -hmm. doing that sort of stuff. And does that have cell service on it as well? Yeah, this is also this is a single SIM, oh. so whatever you want to throw it. I think typically AT and T is what these go with, but I, I believe you can put any SIM card in it, right? Yeah, you can put any SIM okay. card in this whatsoever, and you can be up and running for a fraction of, of a cost of what a pep wave would be. So this is good for like having a pinch, or if you as a sound mixer want to just have this in your cart and in your bag, mm -hmm. ready to go, uh, just to use that for your eight series or Cantar, you can. And this is just a larger version of the PepWave uh, box that you were talking about up there. Yeah, that's just looks yeah. like the rack mount, kind of like more uh, supercharged version. Mm -hmm. It's not like this. I actually have on the back of here. I've I've modified this guy to kind of work with an Anton Bauer mount and all that stuff. So you can put this um, on a C stand here, put a battery on this, and this will last all day. Got it. Okay. And then the last, last but not least, this is something new that we've found. Uh, but just tell me a little bit about this one. Yeah, so this is just like an EN, the same concept as the uh, Max Transit Duo. This is just in an um, ENG style with like a huge battery on the back. Uh, and then this is just a little bit robust for the antenna so they don't break off or anything like that. But it's the same concept, just really beefy. V mount right now, I don't know if they have an Anton Bauer mount, I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah, so, but yeah, this is like, you know, if you want to slap this on the back for you doing any sports or uh, news style, this is great for ENG style. You can just plug in, have all these awesome portraits. Yeah, you have all these, all the four SIM card slots here. Also, Ethernet here if you want to, as well as power. You can distribution for power there too. Fantastic. Okay. Um, well, I should mention to everybody that's watching online that if you have any questions, you can leave them in the chat, and we will ask them. Um, so far, we have nothing at the moment. Um, 
I guess the last thing that I want to cover uh, is, you know, to say congratulations on your uh, new partnership with Adobe. Thank you. Uh, you said yesterday was day one? Yesterday was day one. We are officially uh, employees of Adobe now. Congratulations. So, thank you. That's huge. Um, is there anything else that we may have missed that you want to share? Oh, how many production? How common is this now? You so we we launched this at uh, March 31st or April 1st for all intents and purposes, and we have over 1,100 productions using Camera Cloud. We have over 120,000 assets uploaded to Frame.io, okay. and over I want to say we have like over 500 unique accounts doing that. So that just that just means like I, oh, uh, you know your your account, my account, Derek's account, Mark. It's just a unique account has connected a device to Frame.io, and then if we're in that showcase, you know, that's roughly like 100 or so uh, assets uploaded for a project. Mm -hmm. So people aren't using this for a test. Like, they're not just trying it once and be like, oh, this isn't free. They're, they're actively using it, and people are engaged, and we're seeing uh, quite a bit of adoption with it. Well, can you name drop with anything that, uh, that you're most excited that has used it? I don't know. What can we say? Are we allowed to say anything? No. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. Well, there, I'll, right. I'll, I'll name drop. I'll say this. There's just uh, there's some major CBS TV shows using it, and Got we're it. super excited about CBS. It. There CBS. it is. Okay, great, um, fantastic, Carly. Thank you so much no for problem. taking thank the you. time to be here. Thank you for uh, having and us. Showing off all this stuff. Yeah, and if you have any questions, you can go to frame.io.com, uh, frame.io slash c to c. Mm -hmm. We'll give you all of the um, the stuff to talk to check out for Camera to Cloud. If you have any questions, we have all of our stuff there. Okay, perfect. Thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, you can always email us info at gothamsound.com. And thank you for watching.